Although generally ash colors suit best those with pink cool undertones, it's possible to try out an ash blonde hair color and still look great. Follow these tips. Don't color your hair roots. If your natural hair color is dark black or brown, it's best to leave it as it as will look fresher and blend in with your natural dark eyes and warm skin tone better. This has also been a trend over the last few years, with May celebs dyeing their hair ashy shade or adding ash blonde highlights while keeping their roots darker. Dye your hair a darker ashy color first. This will give you an idea on how ashy hues will look on you and won't cause too much hair damage as with bleaching your hair to a light blonde. Try adding highlights and lowlights rather than going for full-blown color. Full-blown color on warm skin tones can make you look shallow, unless you use some brightening makeup to go with it. Adding crazy color highlights isn't a bad idea but make sure they have a pool of neutral yet contrasting color undertone to work best. Suggested colors, magenta, fuchsia pink, purple, blue, sea green. Some suggested brands and shades that may suit warm skin tones, especially light to medium, or medium to dark include, Kionic Permanent Hair Color in Shade Dull 12N. A very light ash shade with silver undertones. L'Oreal Majoral 9.1 in Light Ash Blonde. The medium ash blonde shade with cool greenish undertone. Well Clestin in Shade 10 8. This is a medium blonde shade with strong silver undertones. You can't dry out at home kits, but these may not give you the same results as concentration of ingredients and pigments is lower than in professional grade hair dyes. Furthermore, most brassy blonde tones are a result of home hair dyes rather than professional grade hair dyes. The professional hair dyes will cost you more, but you won't need to waste too much time and effort to correct any possible brassy shades. Subscribe us for tips.